Hello friends, welcome to the prayer time of e-comfort zone. Thank you very much for joining me. It is always a privilege to thank the Lord because of his mercy, his protection and providence during the last week. We thank the Lord for answering our prayers. I want to thank those friends of ours who have shared their experiences of receiving the answer of their prayer. I want to assure those friends of ours who have sent their prayer request to us that we are praying for you. And we trust that the Lord, according to his immeasurable wisdom, will answer our prayers in his time. It is indeed a privilege for all of us to come before the throne of grace and look for our Lord's blessings during this next week. Today, in our prayer, we will very specially remember those who are in public transport center. Because I read in many places, they are very badly impacted by this pandemic. So we will specially remember those friends of ours, as well as we will pray for everybody. So please join me in this brief prayer session. Let us pray. Our most gracious Almighty Father in heaven, we come before your throne of grace at this time, acknowledging your Lordship in our lives acknowledging that you are our great god acknowledging the privilege that you have given us to know you and come before your throne of grace and so lord we bow before your throne of grace in worship in adoration because you are our god the god of this universe the one who has redeemed us, who has given us the salvation, who has taken up all our wounds. We praise you. We worship you. We want to thank you for your manifold blessings in our lives. Our food, our clothing, our shelter, all these things. Very often we take all these blessings of yours as granted and not acknowledge that they flow from you. We want to say, thank you, Lord, for all these blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the nature that we enjoy around us. The greeneries, the sun, the moon, the lights, the fresh air, and all, all those blessings that we receive from you. We want to thank you. We want to thank you for keeping us in good health. We want to thank you, O oh Lord God, for each and everybody in our families, in our friend circle, in the place where we work. Thank you for all their love. Thank you for all their concerns. And thank you for everything. At this time, we want to thank you very specially because you have answered the prayers that our friends have offered. Thank you. Thank you, O Lord God. We want to acknowledge the fact that many times in our words, in our thoughts, and in our deeds, we have committed sin against you. We pray that you forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord. And help us so that we may overcome the temptations when devil brings that in front of us. Make us victorious in such situations. May we continue to give glory to your name through our victory. Forgive us, O Lord, our sins. Empower us with the power of your hope. We want to pray at this time for those friends of ours who have sent us the prayer requests. You know their situations. You know their challenges. And we pray that may you intervene in every situation and help them to overcome 
those situations. We want to pray for those who have been impacted so badly because of this pandemic. Many have lost their jobs. Many do not have enough as their resources. Many have fallen sick and many have lost their dear ones. We pray that, that those who do not have their jobs, do not have their supplies, you intervene there. Provide them, O Lord God. Find the employment for them. Those who are sick and suffering, we pray that may you stand by their bedside. May they experience your presence by them. May they feel your healing touch and may they be healed. In many countries, the pandemic is coming, waves after waves. We pray, O oh Lord, have mercy, O oh Lord. Intervene in all those situations. Please, O oh Lord, have mercy and stop this pandemic. Bring back that normal situation of life. We pray for those who have lost their dear ones in this pandemic situation. Many possibly could not even attend or perform the last rite for their dear one. We pray that may you be by them, comfort them and strengthen them, O oh Lord. They need your presence very much at this time. Today, we especially want to remember those friends of ours who are working in public transport sector. Those brothers of ours, those sisters of ours, who are running those taxis, who are running those ambulances, who are running those trucks, who are running those trains, and many other such public transport systems. They, have, they come in touch with people and do not know who is safe and who is not. They are exposed to this pandemic every day, every moment. And yet, they need to come out because of their survival, because of the duties that they need to discharge. Father Almighty, we pray that you cover all of them with your sheep so that they are protected, they are protected. Likewise, Lord, we want to pray for each and every individual. Lord God, we all are suffering. We all are suffering. Help us, O oh Lord, to come out from this suffering. As this in this new week, we step out from our safe zones. We pray that may you come with us. Cover us with your shield and protect us from all evil, harm, and anger. Not only just the pain, but anything that can cause harm to us. We pray that you protect us. Gracious Lord, Almighty Father, we commit all the days of this week into your hands and pray for your presence in our life. So that as we come back again to you, we raise our hands in praise in thanks. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you for joining me. We would love to pray for you, pray with you. And so please feel free to send your prayer request to us. Our contact information is here on the screen. As usual, before I close this episode, let me leave a text for all of us. This text comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Friends, our God, as excellent plan for each and every one of us. So let us continue to remain in his presence. God bless you and thank you once again.